Coming up next, it is a welterweight showdown between Omori Akhmedov and Gunnar Gunny Nelson. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioners in this division, DC, and I know how many chokes you have in your arsenal. Offensive jiu-jitsu, defensive jiu-jitsu doesn't get much better than this guy. It doesn't get as high level in terms of the jiu-jitsu knowledge. He knows in every exchange that he's the guy that's processing things at a different level, from the armbar submissions that he has shown in the octagon to the beautiful guillotine chokes that he does over and over again. And don't think that he won't roll for a knee bar and get a submission. Right. It's just constant danger when you're in the jiu-jitsu with this guy. And even the high-level wrestlers that he's fought have paused to try to take him down because of that patented guillotine. It's so truly a case of pick your poison with this Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Both fighters are 32 with similar height and reach. And now to get us started, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record of 17 wins, five losses, and one draw. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Reykjavik, Iceland, Gunnar Gunny. And now with the his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 20 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Mekhakala, Russia, Omari Lekek Akhmedov. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Bergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. Ready? Ready? All right, so the fight is now underway. We'll see how long it goes. We've got a submission specialist on one side and on the other side. Maybe the most well rounded fighter in the world. Yeah, he is one of the best fighters in the entire UFC. Oh, now judo throw, and he ends up in side control. A lot of options for him here. Yeah, he can either go ground and pound, or he can chase submission. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Nelson. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. Oh, wow, oh! You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Oh, that was a 
violent tap there, so he submits him with the arm bar. I mean, just steps ahead of the competition, where you're playing checkers, he's playing chess in the ground fighting. And it showed tonight in this big submission victory. He got him! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Yeah, that is an outstanding submission win turned in by that fighter here tonight. And not just the finishing instincts, but just the transitions and how patient he was to make sure that he had not just isolated the arm, but secured it before he tried to torque it. Near perfection in terms of the execution of that arm. Ball. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliotta is going to stop in this contest at two minutes, 30 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar. All right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened, man. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard, and his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory.